Thespa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on making a proclamation or educational decree for a Harry Potter um, convention. Um, my kiddo is going to dress up like Filch and so I am working on a sign, you know, where he's posting signs in the, in the movie and stuff. So I'm going to be making a frame out of cardboard to um, fit this poster that is actually two sheets of paper printed out and taped together. Half of it was on one and half of it was on the other. You can get these images online for free. And so I am using some X-Acto knives, box knives, ruler, hot glue. Now, of course I have my box and then I also have some paint so that I can paint it when I'm done. And then I also picked up this giant poster um, frame because I needed a piece of plexiglass and I found this at the thrift store so it's really cheap and so I'm just going to get into it and I'll show you what I'm doing as I'm going along. Um, I don't have my camera stand or I would shoot it all the way through but I'll show you as I go the different steps. Okay so I got the back cut down the um or the plexiglass cut down. These are my two larger sheets. And then this is this is the other. Just a, it's not even perfect, but that part's going to be covered over with some more cardboard so it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's just basically the right size now. And then I got my frame marked out. Um, there's a line here and a line at the top where I'm going to be putting frame pieces, gluing them over the top. I've still got to cut those out of that cardboard there. And then I need to do the two pieces that go on the bottom. And then this piece will have the triangle piece at the top. Um, so getting there, and I'll show you the, the next part when I get to it. Okay, so the next step was to cut out the um, frame pieces for the top. And that's just the background piece. Um, so all I got to do now is glue those on so that it holds the plastic in place. And I'm just going to use hot glue on that and uh, get that going. And then I got to cut the trim pieces that go across here to make the base. And then I have to cut the triangle and the trim pieces around the triangle for the top. Okay, I just got all these glued down and proclamations looking a little more thick. Now I'm just cut out, cut out these little pieces that I'm going to be gluing in kind of like that. And here, and I'm going to put another piece of cardboard here. And then there will be another one probably about there. Alrighty, so I've got those two pieces glued on. And then I just cut this piece to go right here. And then this last piece will be glued on right there. So it gets starting to take shape. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Okay, I've got the bottom glued on. You kind of see what it looks like. I think I need to trim this one. It's sticking out just a little bit farther on that side, but it's not too bad. And then the top is glued on, obviously. And then so I cut the triangle and laid it on and then trimmed the corners there. So now I have something to glue it to. And then I'm going to glue that on, and then i just got to make two strips to go on each side to kind of make a, a roof for the, the triangle, basically. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so now I've got this piece glued on, and then I've cut out these strips, and then I'm going to glue them on the sides, on each side. But... Not quite so far in like that. I'm going to glue them right down the center on the top. So that's going to be just about my finished sign. Um, I still have to add a clasp here and a lock. And then add some chain to the top for carrying. And then paint. 
Okay, so I've got this attached. I decided to go with some jute twine instead of um, chain because I'm trying to keep it lightweight. Uh, we're going to be walking around a lot, and this could get heavy if it was made out of anything besides cardboard. But right now, it, I mean, it's super light. You could carry it with one finger comfortably. So um, very lightweight. So I just went with the jute twine, and all I did was tie a bunch of knots in a row to make it thicker. Um, and then I punch holes into the top here and push the ends of the jute twine through and then I glued another piece of cardboard over the top just to hold it in place. You can see this side a little bit better. Um, so the next thing, you know, the back doesn't look spectacular, but it's all going to be painted brown. So I think it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. Um, and then this is... Uh, the finished base piece, pretty much all I got to do now is um, paint it and then add the lock on it to give it a little bit of uh, detail to it. And I think that's turning out pretty cool. It's going to be easy to carry, uh, be a nice addition to a costume. And so, yeah, I'm going to get to painting. Okay, we finished it up. We got a coat of paint on it, just kind of... Um, Kind of a distressed looking coat of paint just to make it look nice and old and rustic and uh we put a little lock on um i used a this little piece of hardware here is left over from a an old bookcase it's uh, one of those things with the peg in it that you would put inside to hold the top of the shelf on the side of your shelf and uh, so we just punched that in there and hot glued it and then added this little lock on the side and then so yeah there it is it's all finished up and uh, it's very lightweight and easy to carry around so it'll be great to go with a filter costume so we're pretty excited about that we've got a a um an event coming up pretty soon here in about two weeks it's the wizard way uh which is a con here in northwest arkansas that uh, is for Harry Potter fans, and uh, yeah, so we're dressing up. I'm going to be Dolores Umbridge, and my kiddo is going to be Filch, and so we're kind of doing that for the costume contest, and that's just really cool. I think he's really excited about it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys can uh, duplicate or recreate your own proclamation educational decree, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.